This is Lenny Farley, Purdue University Extension Forester. Now let's ID that tree. In this edition of ID That Tree, we're going to introduce you to an Indiana tree that has fallen on hard times. Uh, this tree, butternut, is closely related to black walnut, but is much more rare on the landscape than its cousin. Uh, butternut historically was never a really common tree, but it since has developed a fungal disease that is gradually eliminating it on the landscape, leading to quite a bit of research here at Purdue University and at other locations to see if we can find some solutions, uh, possibly through selection and breeding. Butternut, as you can see, produces relatively large nuts that look somewhat like a walnut. However, the butternut nuts have a tendency to be more elongated, almost having a lemon-like shape. When they're green, the outer skins are clammy and sticky, unlike the smooth skins uh, or husks on black walnut. And you can see that it has very sharp ridges on the nut inside that husk. All good characteristics for separating butternut from black walnut. Butternut twigs tend to be a light tan, sometimes even a, a greenish color in some cases and an elongated terminal bud with several long scales and almost have a suede look to them. And one of the ways to differentiate, once again, butternut from black walnut and hickories is we look at this leaf scar where the leaves have fallen off, alternately arranged in compound leaves. The leaf scar itself almost looks like the face of a monkey, but it's got a little hairy eyebrow right above the leaf scar and below the buds. This is absent on both black walnut and the hickories. So as we mentioned, alternate leaf arrangement on butternut, compound leaves resembling those of black walnut, but oftentimes having a terminal leaflet. And so this is an old leaf stem from the compound leaf left behind after the leaves have come off in the fall. You can see quite long, several leaflets and typically a terminal leaflet on that compound leaf where oftentimes the terminal leaflet is missing on black walnut. And you can see the disease issue with butternut. This canker disease, this fungal disease, causes large dead spots and gradually will girdle the trees and kill them, in some cases before they have a time to produce any fruit. The bark on butternut has a tendency to be much lighter than black walnut and breaks up into fissures with silvery tops and dark colors in between in the valleys. So butternut, closely related to black walnut, but becoming very rare now, but one of our important native Indiana nut-producing trees.